Hey, all right. How about we do a little uh, birthday read, shall we? For May 1st, the day of ironic insight. Yeah, so let's get into it, huh? If today's your birthday and you're stopping in for the read, hey, I just want to wish you a happy birthday, okay? And for everyone else who's stopping in, um, hey, welcome. I hope you, uh, hope you learned something. Get excited for those May 1st folks. Uh, but anyway, let's get started, all right? May 1st, your month is May, your day is 1, your sign is 10 to 12 degrees Taurus, your period is Taurus 1, and your element and quality is fixed Earth. All right, so May 1st, the day of ironic insight. So you get a little picture of some uh, binoculars with some mirrors to the side of it, I'm guessing. So, uh, yeah, that's what the book's showing anyway. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but let's go. The day of ironic insight. Those born on May 1st have a talent for watching what goes on around them. Oh, maybe that's the uh, binoculars there. And communicating their ideas on what they see to others. Their capacity to express these observations, which most frequently deal with people, is generally either verbal or written, but rarely both. Not overly talkative, May 1 people have a way of making their words count because their statements are pointed, concise, and sometimes contentious. Those born in this day leave little doubt as to how they feel on any particular issue. Not only are May 1 people forthright, but they also show an active interest in the events of the world around them. Even the shyest take a stand within the family, business, or social group, of which there are a number, or of which they are a member, rather. Those born in this day are not everyone's cup of tea, nor do they particularly seek to please others. They are, however, respected for their honesty, and though outspoken on issues of importance to them, are nonetheless Venetian in their love of harmony and beauty. Therefore, they do not go out of their way to pick quarrels and demonstrate the capacity to avoid confrontation for the sake of peace and quiet. The chief defensive weapon of May 1 people against those who would disturb their tranquility is a pointed wit and a sense of humor armed with satiric barbs. Their tendency to watch and observe supplies them with plenty of ammunition. This talent for humbling pretension or arrogance usually succeeds in earning them respect in their circle. May one people know the power of laughter in deflating a big ego or poking holes in an overblown theory. Not overly intellectual, they have a well-developed critical faculty which shows contempt for vague generalizations and spurious facts. Those born on this day are sensualists, enjoying heartily the delights of table and bed. They may, in fact, be more comfortable in response than in motion or repose rather than in motion. Generally, those born on this day will not take big risks, but follow good sense in backing a winner, all right? The good sense does not extend to the realm of love, however, where they will often demonstrate a remarkable lack of good judgment, even going so far as to consistently pick the wrong partners. Perhaps in this, they are blinded by romantic illusions. In most other areas, May 1 people are down-to-earth and pragmatic. They are not given to wilds of fancy when it comes to business, money dealings, or even artistic expression. In this respect, they are difficult to fool, anticipate disasters, and have a sixth sense for con artists. Not in any great hurry to make a success of themselves, those born in this day will often wait years to achieve their ends. There are many, there may be a moment rather, however, a chance coming only once in a life, which seized will greatly guarantee their happiness. Only too often may one people allow that moment to pass out of excessive caution and not daring to dare. Okay, how about we read those born on this day so you know what company the May 1st people are in, shall we? And let's see if I can read them. Pierre Teilhard de Chardin, who's a philosopher, a Jesuit priest, a paleontologist, geologist, and helped discover the Peking man, remains in China. He attempted mystical synthesis of science and religion. He was a writer of The Phenomenon of Man. 
quite the Renaissance man, it sounds like. Terry Southern, he was a screenplay writer of Dr. Strangelove and a novelist of the book Candy. Joseph Heller, the novelist of Catch-22. Sterling Brown, literary critic, poet of The Negro in American Fiction. Steve Cawthon, he was a boy wonder jockey and a Triple Crown winner. Judy Collins, folk singer-songwriter. Jack Parr, the Tonight Show host and TV personality. Bobby Ann Mason, writer of In Country. Uh, what else we got? William Lilly, the British 17th century astrologer, philosopher, and cosmologist. Joseph Addison, he was an 18th century prose writer, journalist, with steel set cultural standards for newly emerging British middle class. Chuck Bednark, uh, Bednarek, <laughs> there's one. Uh, let's see here. He was a Philadelphia Eagles football center, seven-time All-Pro, played 60 minutes both ways, and he was a two-time All-American for Penn. Uh, Ollie Matson was an All-American football halfback, Olympian, and four-time All-Pro, 73 TDs and 14 seasons. Harry Golden, syndicated journalist, Valentina, she was a Ukrainian-American fashion designer. Glenn Ford, film actor, Danielle Direct. Daru, that sounds about right, uh, French film actress. Wendy Toy, British theater producer, choreographer, actress, dancer, film director. Trial by Jury, something she worked on. Rita Coolidge was a singer. Kate Smith, a singer. Uh, Theo Van Gogh, the art dealer, and Vincent's brother. All right, let's move on to your numbers and planets, May 1st, folks. Those born on the first of the month are ruled by the number one and by the sun. People born on the first generally like to be first in what they do. But the competitive urge of May 1 people is blunted by the influence of Venus, ruler of Taurus. The sun tends to grant the qualities of warmth and a well-developed ego, along with a distinctly human and positive orientation to, uh, to life. <laughs> Those ruled by the number one have individual and clearly defined views on most subjects. Though May 1 people will try to avoid open conflict, their obstinacy is apparent. Number 1 people are typically ambitious, but those born on May 1st may manifest this quality in more subtle ways. Moving on to your tarot. The first card in the Major Arcana is the Magician, who symbolizes intellect, communication, and information, as well as magic. Over his head is an infinity symbol, which in some tarot decks takes the form of a hat, in others, a halo. Many interpretations may be drawn, one of which is that the magician recognizes the cyclical and unending nature of life, and it's empowered by this understanding, and is empowered by this understanding. All right, uh, the positive traits suggest that this first card include diplomatic skill and shrewdness, but negatively, lack of scruples and opportunism. Moving on to your health, the voice, whether used for singing or speaking, is particularly dear to May One per a May One person, and special care should be taken to safeguard the vocal cords, a traditionally vulnerable area for terrarians. I suppose that's how that's said. The first hint of a co of a cold should be immediately treated with vitamin C and a soothing herbal steam inhalation, such as chamomile. Because of this fine knowledge of food and well-developed palate, maintaining a well-balanced diet is not a problem for most May 1 people, but they may still have to watch their weight. A moderate amount of physical exercise, along with vacations which feature skiing or swimming, is recommended. All balanced forms of physical activity, including regular sex, will keep May 1 people energetic. Or energetic, rather. Now here's your advice. In love, try to be more realistic. In your lifestyle, attempt to look ahead. Once you have made your plans, don't forget to act on them. Take that necessary risk now and then in order to step up in life. And here's your meditation. In comfortable shoes, you forget that you have feet. All right, let's move on to your strengths and your weaknesses to take us out. Your strengths are you are calm, realistic, and ironic. And your weaknesses, procrastinating, lethargic, and blunt. 
once again, uh, you're a Taurus, Taurus 1, uh, your element qualities is fixed earth, and your season is spring. And I just want to say once more, if it's your birthday, hey, happy birthday from me to you. All right? Take care.